before we go any further, allow me to invite the CEO of the Rwanda Development Board, Claire Akamansi, to come up. Mr. President, before you came, we had such a lively assortment of dancers from the Commonwealth. It's very difficult to come after that. Uh, Your Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, the Right Honorable Prime Minister Philip Davis of the Bahamas, Honorable Crystal Fan, Deputy Prime Minister Walter and Minister of Health, Right Honorable Patricia Scotland, Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Lord Balland, Chairman, Commonwealth Enterprise and Investment Council, Captains of Industry, Senior Government Officials, Leaders of global and international organizations, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's such a good morning. I see that you're following. I am truly delighted to finally say welcome to Rwanda, the land, the land of a thousand hills and a million smiles, and to the Commonwealth Business Forum 2022. We waited a long time to host you, but the wait is over. We are glad that you're all here physically showing the full strength and diversity of the Commonwealth. There's nothing quite like the power of in-person meetings for collaboration and engaged discourse. The Commonwealth Business Forum in Rwanda is truly a momentous occasion. We are particularly glad that the, the Chogam is back in Africa after a whole 14 years. We are privileged to launch together a connected transformative and innovative future. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to host you at a time when the world is getting healthier, more resilient, and even more determined to deliver a common, prosperous future for all. Collective action will be required to emerge from the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, which indiscriminately disrupted economies, businesses, communities, livelihoods, and our entire way of life. Yet, before our economies fully recover from the pandemic, we are now also confronted with a tougher macroeconomic environment that is threatening short-term economic prospects. A key lesson from the pandemic is that collaboration is the only answer when confronted with such global challenges. We can only emerge from a crisis when we come together and collectively seek to find the most innovative solutions. This is why this gathering of the Commonwealth family could not have come at a more important time. Over the next three days, business and government leaders gathered here will engage in an impactful and pertinent conversation on trade and regional integration, innovation at the digital economy, sustainability, financing growth, global health equity, and the future of work. Allow me to share four quick questions that will guide our discussions over the next three days. First, how do we enhance trade and businesses with each other to revive and reinvigorate our economies in order to recover from the deteriorated inter-commonwealth trade flows that took us back a decade? Second, how best do we embrace innovation to drive sustainable economic recovery as we saw many governments, startups and businesses do during the pandemic? Innovation matters greatly for long-term global economic growth, but innovation also thrives in diversity, a strong attribute of the Commonwealth. Third, how do we ensure that as we strive for recovery and long-term prosperity, we are doing so in an inclusive manner? We all have a responsibility to create meaningful jobs and opportunities for the 1.2 billion young people in the Commonwealth. Fourth, in all this, how do we ensure that we contribute to a healthy people and a healthy planet. We are grateful to an exceptional cohort of conversation leaders at this year's CBF 
who are leaders and experts in their fields, and who will share their valuable insights on how to deliver connected, innovative, and transformed Commonwealth. We are further thankful to our leaders in the Commonwealth for including businesses in these critical discussions. A special thanks to our host leader, His Excellency President Paul Kagame, for not only providing a conducive environment for these discussions, but also for progressing this Commonwealth Business Forum with your presence this morning. We also thank our generous partners for this year's CBF. Partnerships are what CBF is all about. When we come together, united in purpose, we will collectively complete the tasks ahead of us. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, allow me to invite all the guests that we have in this room, that while you're here, please discover Rwanda. Discover our Made in Rwanda products, from coffee, tea, electric motorcycles, smartphones, drones, VW branded cars, as well as jewelry. These can be found in the exhibition in Virunga Hall, just below this room, as well as another exhibition that we have for the private sector at the Gali Arena. There will also be a fashion week featuring designers from seven Commonwealth countries. So please don't miss the opportunity to pick a fashion item, and made in Rwanda particularly, such as those adorning none other than yours truly. Visit Rwanda and discover our touristic attractions from the rare mountain gorillas to the big fire animals, cultural and historic museums, as well as culinary experiences. For this week, remember to sign up for side events such as street festivals, golf, cricket, among others, as well as a concert at the end of the week. Lastly, invest in Rwanda and in the Commonwealth. There are 19 investment promotion agencies from all over the Commonwealth ready to show you investment opportunities in their countries. Visit our own Invest in Rwanda stand here at the exhibition and learn about our own opportunities. And if you decide to invest, we will register your business within six hours here at the exhibition. And to make sure that your luggage is not too heavy, we shall deliver a certificate by email. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to wish you a fruitful CBF 2022 and a wonderful stay in Rwanda. Thank you. Esu jute ikireza kurejo haza za hawe, numu jangu wa uko haza wa hameze. Band muri mura Amerika. Wabu jute ikireza uko vya agenda changu uko watungu muri jangu wa hawe. Ura mutsu uye ni chibazu chuburu kwa hivu kome ye, buka tumuta basha kukori jie chire chire. Ijisu is only life insurance with living benefits. Iba sugi shingi zivu bumbi ya hamge bugufashi jiheche ose wajiri biyago karugaru burgu wa ibu kome ye buka kugoboka. Wajira muzabu kuru buka kugoboka. Ndete wa anita bimana, umurijango wawe, ukitabga oneza kandi jihechira amje. Akarusho rero, nuku yuda huya na chimge muri bibibazo, uvusho wara gufa tugizi gami ugawe. Iche eza chindi chiri mohanu rero, nuko kufata achiri karari kukujiri nyungu nyinchi kuko. Urindu jeza muzabu kuru jitanga mafaranga mge wahere ye hutanji la kufata. Bitandu kanyena wabu fashiba ara chereriwi. Uwabuli mkuru uwabuchini muto na uwugishi njizura wuchene ye kanduri sang. Iriga na ume nya hobi gira jeze. Kandi wafuga kona ujina amani means. Aha. Ngui na muli IB Financial Freedom Solutions. Maze tugu ugishi njizugi zewe. Buramje kandi buza kujiri rakamaru. Kubindi biso banro. Duha magaru kore sheji inimero. Umunani rimge karingui. Umunani zero umunani kane gatani chenda karingui. Changu tukwa andi chile kuri email ibfinancialfreedom at gmail.com Life insurance. Live better. Live insured.